Good morning. You join me here today at Choria. Here's a quick look at the map to where we are today. I'm moored up here near the facilities block by the Choria Industrial Museum. Unfortunately, of course, it's closed. I would love to have had a look around there actually and the bone and flints mill. But, alas, we cannot. We do have a couple of exhibits outside, which we will go and take a look at. Well, I wonder how much of that will happen. Now, I've actually never seen one of these before, and I didn't know this was how it was done. The Good Wind Ball Mill. Very interesting actually. I'm going to come down to the sign. Which I found very interesting. And of course, if you would like to read it all, just click pause and you'll be able to do so. Huge belt that was driven Probably by steam, well it certainly would have been by steam, or water. Probably water actually around here, the water mills. Drive the wheel to drive this all around. In belts flying around all over the place driving that. And probably a lot of other things as well. There's more in here for a few boats. I'm on the 48 hour mooring. Once you get here, I think it's 14 day mooring. I didn't see any signs to say anything else. But since I was only staying the one night, I didn't have a problem with staying on the 48 hour mooring. Well, I'm gonna get back to the boat, move on to the facilities area and top up with water. I only filled up a couple of days ago, actually about four days ago, so I'm not desperate in any way, shape or form, but I don't like going past water points unless I've just filled up literally the day before. So let's make a move on down to the water points. We also have here the Etoria Forge. takes us through there to the top lock I'm going to leave you here with a bit of a virtual tour of the outside of the bone and flint mill. Of course I couldn't go inside because of the restrictions. Now for a little history about the bone and flint mill. It was built in 1857 and as I put in the caption it was steam driven not water driven and it was family operated until 1975 when it was basically closed down. The reason for the bone and flint mill, of course, was mainly to crush bones for the pottery industry. 
it was also used in the farming industry as bone mill. Of course, it wouldn't be called bone china if it didn't have bone in it, would it? So yes, bone china does contain bone. And the china around here that was made was normally made with Cornish clay. A high quality clay from Cornwall, which was used in the process of making your famous bone china. Now back to the virtual tour. I want to thank all my Patreon and PayPal supporters, and especially everybody new that is coming along to help support the channel right now. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button. That way, YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Please like and share. That just leaves me to say, thanks very much for watching, Trevor out.